This here is the 2015 Axe Phenom T-Ball Bat. It's actually a 25 inch drop 11, so it's 14 ounces. It's just, of course, a single piece aluminum bat. The thing that's real unique about the Axe Bats, if you, if you don't know, it's it has this unique sort of asymmetric handle, not sort of asymmetric handle, it actually is asymmetric. You can see where his fingers are on the ball, on the bat, as he, uh, see how it's just, it's curved? This in theory, and I think in practice as well, actually helps him pull his hands through the, through, through, through to contact, so you know, quick too long through, that's the idea, um, and just gets him to pull his hands through the ball. Really great bat, and they're like, uh, they're like 30 bucks, even for like directly from the side, I think, but I'm sure they're probably on Amazon or eBay. You can find some, but it's a great little, uh, great little bat for little guys, um, little girls who want to start hitting um, at a young age, especially at 15 ounces. Yeah, go ahead and switch now, Pierce. Let's look at another t-ball bat. I mean, if you're in, if you're in the mood to look at t-ball bats, since we got the little guy out here taking some hacks. This is the smallest t-ball bat we could ever find. Um, it seems like looking for the lightest is a, is a common conversation or common question. This is actually a 24 ounce, or excuse me, 24 inch drop 13. This is a, so it's an 11 ounce bat built after the S3 from Easton, which the, or the, the I guess the old S3 in 2016, they won't have an S3. We'll all go to the, uh, uh, the Mako uh, style of bats. Um, but also, again, single piece aluminum, really simple, not really made for, uh, for pitching machine. In fact, not, 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 not at all made for pitching machine. Um, I guess you can do soft toss with it, as we're sort of proving here. But it's really built for the t-ball player, um, and it's just ultra light. I mean, 11 ounces, it's like a, it's like a handful of paper clips. Um, and just gives a kid a lot of confidence, especially a young guy like this who's, you know, three, uh, getting the idea of feeling like he's swinging a bat. Clearly, he has some form issues we're still working out, but he's doing a great job of just finding the ball in front of him. But by way of t-ball bats, it's hard to it's hard to beat these two. If you want ultra light, uh, you know, then an Easton bat makes a ton of sense. This little S1 or S3. Um, if you're looking for more mechanics and maybe something a little more unique, I think that axe bat back there makes a ton of sense too. But both are fun to hit, and both you know get little kids excited about getting in the cage and getting some hacks in, even if he doesn't have any shoes on. Um, but you know, that's how it goes when you're three, you're just rolling without any shoes. One more buddy, drill it. Let's see it. Ooh, keep that head in, keep that chin in. One more time. Keep the chin on that. Atta boy.